Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new tutorial on using Bioma to solve optimization problems. In today's video we'll learn how to use Bioma to solve this equation or this problem and this problem contains the following set of equations and constraint. So we have first the objective function which is z equals to 40x1 plus 30x2 and we have the constraint are x1 plus x2 are less or equal to 12 and we have 2x1 plus x2 less or equal to 16 and under these two conditions that are x1 and x2 are greater than 0 or in other words they are not negatives they cannot be negative values so how do we do that in biome First of all, we need to do some import. So, from biomo, biomo dot environment import everything. The next thing we need to is create a model. So, since this is a model of equation need to create a model and the model will be abstract model and we have another type of models which is concrete model but concrete models are a special case of abstract model so usually you will go with the abstract model next step is to define the variables and the variables are x1 and x2 so we say model dot x1 so this is x1 equals to var and this var will be will have bounds so we need to define the bounds and the bounds will be well here we have they should be greater than or equal to zero so it will be zero and the upper limit is as you can see let's think about it for a bit they should be greater than zero but also since they are greater than zero and our equation are addition so x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 12 you can see that if x2 is zero the maximum value of x1 is 12 and if x1 is zero the maximum value of x2 is 12. the other one here if x1 is zero the maximum value of x2 is 16 so for x2 model dot x2 it will be a variable and the bounds will be from 0 to 16 but for x1 the maximum value is 12 from here you can see that so 12 from this equation we can say that if x2 is 0 then 2x1 equals 16 then x1 will be 8 from this equation but it's okay to do this now we have defined the bounds then there's another parameter we need to define which is within and this will be none negative integers and the same applies for the second one sorry non-negative reals so because they can be maybe x1 can be 5.5 5.3 that's allowed so we said that non-negative reals and the same for the x2 all right now we have done that let's go ahead and define the equations or the constraint so to do that we say model dot equation one equals to constraint and inside this constraint we will define the expressions and the expression 
is these two values. So for equation one, which is this one, will be, let's take a look at the coefficients. X1 has one as a coefficient and X2 has one as a coefficient. And to do that here, we just simply say model dot x1 plus model dot x2 and I forget the parameter expression equals to and this less than or equal to 12 all right let's define now the equation 2 model dot equation 2 equals to constraint expression is 2x1 so 2 times model dot x1 plus now 1 dot not 2 and plus just model dot x2 and this should be less than or equal to 16. So for now, we have created the model. We defined the parameters x1 and x2. We defined the equations or the constraint. Now we need to define the objective function. So let's go ahead and do that. We say model dot objective objective equals to objective and the objective is first expression equals to 40 x1 40 times model dot x1 plus 30 x2 so 30 times x2 sorry model dot x2 and that's it the other parameter we need is since now since is whether we want to maximize or minimize so in this case maybe we want to maximize z value so we say maximize and we have defined everything we need now so we defined parameters and constraint and the objective function now what we need to do is start solving so ca optimizer equals to solver factory and in here we define do you remember we downloaded i popped solver so here we define this we say i popped and next step is create instance of the solver so instance sorry not solver create instance of the model so model dot create instance and finally results will be opt or optimizer dot solve and we pass here the instance all right and finally let's print results let's run it and wait for it i have a problem function object has no attribute x1 so model dot x1 and model oh not mood model here we go model so let's run it one more time still an error unexpected keyword option find while constructing abstract scalar constraint sometimes this stuff happen and it's okay you can always solve them let's see 
line 18 so this is line 18 constraint all right here we go run one more time and here's our solution so here's our problem and you can see number of objectives is one we have one objective and number of constraint is two and number of variables is two and the status is okay and the message from i popped optimal solution found so we have an optimal solution All right but where's our solution i can't find it anywhere here to find the solution let's go ahead and do this now we should get the value and here we go here's the value for x1 it should be 4 and x2 should be 8 and the objective function or z will be 400 to get the maximum value for z which is 400 is the maximum possible value under the conditions that x1 and x2 less than 12 and 2x1 plus x2 less or equal to 16 and under this condition the value of x1 should be 4 and the value of x2 should be 8 as a result of that we will get the highest possible value for z or z i know i have talked too much in this video so i will end this here thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video